So this area in our kitchen is where we keep the craft supplies, the puzzles, the coloring books, things like that that the girls play with. These bins over here, they were in the laundry closet, but I decided to take them out of there because they were taking up a lot of space in there and I wanted to use that space for other things. I will link that video if you haven't seen that one yet. So I brought them out here and I've set them here beside this cabinet since it's all kind of related items. But I'm going to go through them and see if I can condense them down and have a little bit less. I really can't keep the stuff that's in here in these drawers out like this because my five-year-old gets into everything and there are things in here that she can make really big messes with. So I definitely have to figure out another area for that. My thoughts were I could either put them in smaller bins and put them in this cabinet and have them locked up so that she can only get to them when I am around. Or I also have a kitchen cabinet that I could possibly keep some of the things up higher that I don't want her to get into. But to start off with, I'm just gonna go through everything, take everything out and see what I can get rid of. So I have everything emptied out of the cabinet and all of these drawers are empty except for some paint books in that one. And then, the construction paper there and here is everything spread out over the table so here's a quick look at what we have this is the stuff that mostly came out of those bins over there and this was inside of the cabinet this has like colored pencils and crayons and things And some learning toys. These were the ones that came out of the the bins on the side for the paint and stuff like that. We have flashcards in there and some sticker books. Lots of puzzles. Some imagining books, which I think most of these are pretty used up. Well, that was not, well, I don't know. My five-year-old just kind of colors on every page. I know some of these, this one may be finished. I need to get some new ones. And then there's coloring books and workbooks, notebooks, busy books. My five-year-old loves these. I think that's mostly it. So I'm going to go through and see what kinds of things I can get rid of and decide what I want to keep in the cabinet and what things I want to keep in here. Alright, so I have finished going through everything and I got rid of some things and I moved the items that I don't want my girls to get into, like the paints and stuff like that, into another area, which I will show later on in a future video. But now I'm just gonna go through and show you everything I've decided to keep. So in these bins over here, the bottom drawer, I have drawing paper, construction paper, stencil cards, and there's some drawing books down here, and some rollers. And then in this drawer is just notebooks and some books that have blank paper in them for drawing. My oldest is always asking me for paper to draw and write on so this is a good place for for that so she can easily come get it when she wants to. And then I have the paint books here but I don't have any paint in here so they have to ask me when they want to paint. These are mostly like watercolor paint books. And then some paint paper. And then this drawer is mostly for my five-year-old. It's all these little learning toys that I've gotten from the Target One Spot and flashcards. She loves going through these cards all the time. And then here's the Imagine Ink books. I got rid of the ones that were mostly colored in, but I kept 
the markers because sometimes my girls will leave the lids off the markers and they'll dry out. So I kept the extras so we have them just in case. And then this drawer is all of the Color Wonder paper and a few of the markers. These are the markers that came with this. And then up here, I have this magnetic playset and then this magnetic calendar. And then this drawer has the magnets for the calendar, the little magnetic dolls that we have. And then there's this little bin is for those letters because there's a dry erase board. It's magnetic so she can use this board to play with all the magnets. Have some more magnets here. Some Disney ones and then some animal ones. And that is everything in those bins. And then down here it's mostly the same stuff except since I got rid of some things I had a little more room and I added the Legos in here that were in the living room. So I moved those from there into here since I figured it would be a good place for them to pull out the Legos and they can play with them here at the table. But I still have this little thing with the crayons. There's the other color wonder markers and color pencils. And then there's all the busy books. Then down here are the coloring books and the activity books. And then this clock and puzzle. Little activity set and puzzle book. And then this little bin has the Lego toys that they've already built, but they're still put together, and the little instruction books are back there. And the drawers over. And it's just more puzzles. And this is the puzzle set. It was sitting on top, but I just moved it down here since there was room now. And then here are all the Legos that we currently have. that is it so I'll have a video coming up soon to share where I put the paints and things like that that I didn't want the girls to get into but that is it for this video so I hope you guys like watching and I will see you again soon